Hello students, today we will discuss a new topic, symmetry. In this video, we are going to talk about simple symmetry operations. We have many objects around us which are regular or symmetrical in shape. Symmetry refers beauty of form arising from balanced proportion or due to agreement in arrangement. For macroscopic objects, symmetry refers to harmony in their external appearance. We found a regular shape object beautiful. In nature, countless number of beautiful appearances are shown by crystals, although most of the time we have an aggregate of several crystals, but even a single crystal can grow in many different shapes. Pyrite crystallize in cubic form but the octahedral crystal of pyrite are also very common. All symmetrical objects have one thing common in them that is symmetry. Symmetry is a feature of an object that is preserved or remain unchanged under some transformation. The external shape of the crystal is the immediate consequence of the symmetry inherent in the crystal. In physics, the natural beauty of a crystal is not really the purpose for the crystal to be studied at all. If symmetry present in an object is known, then the information about the whole object can be described in terms of smaller parts, which can generate the whole object by applying a combination of known symmetry present in the object. For instance, Consider this picture of butterfly. On taking reflection at mirror plane AB, we can get a complete butterfly from the image point on the right side of plane AB. Let us consider another example. Here we have taken an example of square. We can retrieve the complete square from this triangle in combination with three mirrors, one diagonal mirror, one vertical mirror, and one horizontal mirror. So, with bare minimum information, we can get maximum knowledge. The physical properties of the crystal also have a symmetry, which is at least the symmetry of the crystal. And these properties can be modified by changing the arrangement and therefore symmetry of the object under consideration. The crystals are best described and classified in terms of language of symmetry. Symmetry is the principal feature of crystallography. In this lecture, we will talk about simple symmetry operations like translational, rotation, reflection and inversion. Before we consider different types of symmetry operations, the difference between the two terms symmetry operation and symmetry element must be realized. A symmetry operation is a physical or imaginative action which when carried out leaves the object in the same appearance as it was before the action. Therefore, the object will look the same as before the action. The action could be translation of a repeated unit to produce infinite regular arrangement it may also reflection, rotation or inversion. All these actions, if leaves the configuration unchanged, are symmetry operators. Recall the example of butterfly. The butterfly will look the same if we reflect it at this mirror plane AB. Parts which are mirror images of each other are called enantiomers. Thus, two sides of this butterfly are in anchomorphic form of each other. Each symmetry operation has an associated symmetry element. The symmetry element consists of all the points which remain in the same place when the symmetry operation is carried out. All special points of an object that remain invariant under a symmetry operation makes the symmetry element. 
again in the example of butterfly the reflection is carried out at this mirror plane therefore here symmetry element comprises all points of butterfly that lies on the mirror plane ab we have only five different kind of symmetry element for macroscopic object identity axis of rotation mirror plane and center of inversion also we have roto inversion identity corresponds to doing nothing when no action is performed all the points of the object stay in the same place hence the whole object represent the corresponding identity symmetry element the concept of identity is given for mathematical reason of group theory which i do not need to explain here translation and rotation are proper symmetry operations proper symmetry operations are the operation which are actually carried out therefore term as proper symmetry operations a proper action takes the object to the same form as it was before on the other hand reflection and inversion are improper action improper action can only be imagined and not actually performed on the object these actions take the object to their enantiomorphic form rotation deflection and inversion are also point symmetry operation the action in which at least one point of object is not moving around are point symmetry operations two types of symmetry systems are in use one is schon fly system which is nowadays mainly used to describe the symmetry of molecules or finite objects that show point symmetry only and other is harmonogram harmonogram symbolism is standard notation for the symmetry in crystalline world here not only point symmetry is present but translational symmetry is also there now we will discuss each type of basic symmetry operations one by one the first one is translational symmetry operation this translational symmetry operation follows from the orderly arrangement of a lattice translational symmetry operator when applies on a point moves the point to another identical position if a pattern has translational symmetry then the whole pattern can be obtained by mentioning repeat identity and translation vector for instance the repeat identity is dot here in this pattern this dot when translated by the repeat distance gives us the complete pattern in formal language a crystal is said to possess translational symmetry if the displacement of crystal lattice parallel to itself by a translational vector leaves the crystal unchanged therefore after this operation the lattice point moves on to identical or congruent lattice point now we will explore rotation symmetry operation if the configuration of an object remains unchanged after a rotation by theta which is equals to 360 divided by n about an axis then we say that object has n fold rotational symmetry about that axis rotation operator rotates a general point hence the space around the axis in such a way that the final configuration looks exactly like before for macroscopic object there is no limit for the order of rotational symmetry for instance this bowling pin has an infinite fold of axis of rotation this starfish has a five fold axis of rotation and this wheel has eight fold axis of rotation 
in general a macroscopic object may have any order of symmetry but this is not true for crystals crystals can have only those symmetries which are compatible with translational symmetry therefore the order of rotational symmetry in crystals is limited to 2 3 4 and 6 but the order of rotational symmetry cannot be 5 or higher than 6 a one fold symmetry is no symmetry all objects look alike after a rotation of 360 degree the rotation of n fold symmetry is cn or simply n a unit with five fold order of rotation without overlap or gaps cannot do space filling hence a lattice which is collection of infinite identical points in space cannot possess five fold symmetry same is true for symmetries higher than 6 fold can you identify the symmetry elements present in this cube think for a while a cube has three four fold axes of rotations additionally it has four three fold axes of rotation and four three fold axes of rotation reflection symmetry reflection symmetry is also termed line symmetry or mirror symmetry or bilateral symmetry objects having reflection symmetry does not change upon a reflection at the symmetry element we have line of symmetry in 2d and plane of symmetry in 3d this cube has six mirror planes for classification of crystal lattices one has to specify only those symmetries which are unique some objects may have only rotational symmetry but many also show mirror symmetry along with rotational symmetry to understand the concept of unique symmetry elements let us take an example of simple square square has four fold rotational symmetry two pieces generated by cutting the square by a diagonal mirror plane are not distinguishable from the pieces which will be generated by another diagonal plane therefore these two diagonal planes represent only one unique plane we can obtain one plane by another on rotating through 90 degree that is by applying a four fold rotational operation and the same is true in case of all blue planes so we have only two unique mirror planes in this square i am giving you a task to identify unique symmetry elements in this hexagon generally the rotation axis is written first that is the waving direction when the normal to the mirror and the axis of rotation are parallel as in case b then for n fold symmetry we will write n over m for example we write 3 over m or 4 over m etc but when the rotation axis is running perpendicular to the mirror plane as in case a and case c then we use notation as nm for example 3m 4m etc Let us now talk about lattice symmetry operation that is inversion symmetry operation the object with inversion symmetry always has matching parts of same color nature and specification at the same distances from a central point but are in opposite directions this means if we have a point at the coordinate x y z then there must also be a point at the exact opposite coordinate minus x minus y and minus z inversion operation is equivalent to mirroring at a point in two dimensional objects the center of inversion is identical with the two fold rotational axis the symbol for such a center of inversion is i or 1 bar in the next video we will discuss a few more symmetry operations like 
टोटो रिफ्लेक्शन टोटो इन्वर्जन एंड कंपाउंड सिमेट्री ऑपरेशन ग्लाइड एंड स्क्रू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू सोन